Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an action pixel so that when somebody comes to our landing page through our landing page tracking link and clicks on this, uh, our tracking link for our sales page, we want an action pixel to fire so we can see which keyword resulted in someone actually taking action from our landing page, taking action and going to the sales page. So to do this, we are going to insert a custom pixel into this pixel code area. I just went to advanced settings and then all this drop down came. Don't, don't worry about all this stuff. All we need to worry about is inserting a custom pixel code right here. So I'm going to hide advanced settings and all I'm going to do is go to tools, uh, where is it? tracking pixels, pixel builder. So now all we have to do is answer what six questions. What do you want to track? I want to track actions. Our conversion attribute this means do we want the action to show up on the first click or when someone clicks on the sales page do we want the action to fire for the sales page click i like to have it on the first click on the landing page section right here on the top not this but you can do it either way i just always go with first click so i'm going to change that over and every time you click something this action tracking pixel changes down here so look at this when i Go to last click, you'll see attribute changed to two and it's just, it goes all the way up to four. So if I go here, it'll go to three and then there it'll go to four. So I'm gonna go first click. So make sure that that attribute is one. And do you wanna track duplicate conversions? So if someone visits your landing page and clicks on the buy button, then comes back, does the same thing four more times, do you want four actions to appear or just one? I like to have it as one and that's what it's recommended. So. No, I do not want to track duplicate conversions. Are you adding this pixel to a secure HTTPS page? And for that, I'm going to say no, because right in here, it's going to be within this link, because what ClickMagic will do when we insert this pixel into the pixel area, it'll create a bridge page for the pixel to fire. And as you notice up here, it's HTTP. There's no S there. It's not secure. So keep that as no. Are you adding this pixel to a tracking link? If so, read this. And if you guys want, you can read this, but if you don't want to, it's fine. And we are going to write yes. Lastly, do you want to add an optional reference value? Enter it here. So you don't have to do this, but I always like to. So I'm just gonna go, so I just wrote CLA underscore SP view, that stands for sales page view. So you guys don't have to do this, I just like to. Keep in mind, you have to click off of the box and see the reference equals CLA sales page view. You have to click off for that to save. Now, action tracking pixel. Right now, it is an image slash HTML file. So this is literally just a little image that fires and it lets ClickMagic track the action. So if we were to have a custom, or if we were to have a thank you page for the users to go, like if they're signing up for a free ebook or whatever, we could have it on JavaScript and put it in the header of that thank you page uh, landing page, the header of the thank you page. But we're putting it inside of a tracking link. So we're gonna go with the image slash HTML and then copy all of it. Come back, go to the advanced settings and then just paste it in, control V, paste. Make sure you come all the way down and click save. So now we can track actions. So ideally, when I test this out, we're gonna see a unique click when I go to this landing page. And then when I click on the sales page, the little order button down here, it's going to take us to a bridge page and the action pixel will fire. And I'll show you that. So we should have one unique click for both of these. So we're gonna have four ones right here and then an action pixel will fire right here, and then the action conversion rate will be 100, because it's just a percentage of unique clicks to actions. So let's test it out, let's see if it's gonna work. I'm going to copy it, paste it, and for the five sub IDs, I'm going to write test to see 
action fire. So you remember how we have five uh, five sub IDs that we can use? You can write whatever you want. You can just write test, but I'm just gonna do this. So codinocpa.com, CLA safflower oil version one and S1 equals 8057.79626. That's our unique click ID. So now when we come over here and hover over, you can see in the bottom left that that click ID will transfer. We went over this in the previous video. But now when I click this, you're going to want to pay attention up here because you will see a temporary click magic redirect. And that's when you know it's working because that bridge page, what I like to call it, will fire the action pixel. So let's click it. Look at that, click magic redirect. You see that? So if everything worked properly, which I'm pretty sure it did, we should have an action pixel fire on the landing page section because we said first click. But first, if you guys installed uh, your redirect path, let's just see if our... Uh, click ID transfer properly. So let's come down here. So 9626, let's go to the MB103 link. Let's find our S2, 9626. I like it, that's working. So let me just exit out of there. Oh no, it didn't work. Not, I gotta refresh it. So remember, 1111 action pixel fires right here. Let's go. Boom, we got our action. Now, essentially, when we're setting up our Bing Ads campaign, we are going to be tracking the keywords, the query strings, the ad IDs, the network, the campaign. So those are gonna be what's filling our five sub IDs. But remember, I wrote test to see if action fires or whatever. But we'll be able to see that if we click on actions, our sub ID one is test. So remember, that was the first sub ID that I put. But if I go over to the unique click, this is where you can see all five of them. Test to see action fire. So all five of them are working and our actions working properly. And remember, ideally we will be able to see the keyword that resulted in the action, the query string, what they exactly typed in. So everything is working properly up to here and that's it for this video. Tracking actions is very important. So I will see you in the next video.